you know what? I put on some red lipstick this morning, and it just, I can't, I can't do red lipstick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was uh, super random. Anyways, I'm, I'm going to pray right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you will season my words with grace. I ask that you would open the ears and the hearts of those who would receive these words on today. In your son, Jesus' name, I pray. So I want to talk to the fellas. Fellas, the woman that you are with, the woman that you trust, the one that you lay down with at night and you wake up with in the morning, you have made her your basket and you have put all of your eggs in that basket. And for whatever reason, and for several reasons, many reasons and a couple I'm going to bring to your attention, things aren't going how you expected them to go because you're a you're a stand-up guy listen i want to specifically talk to the audience of men who have been incarcerated in prison out of society for um a substantial amount of time and then now you are in the free world and you are dependent upon a woman. A woman that appeared or seemed to be on your side. She put money on your books. She wrote you letters. She made sure you had packages. She made sure you had ways to communicate with the outside world. She was a down chick. She was down for you. So now, my dear brothers, you are, you're out or you're about to get out. And that's not the person. Like, she's not the person who she was. She was. There are different types of women. And a type of woman that appeared to be something and then you discovered that that's not she's not her one of the reasons is because she has not unpacked her suitcase she has baggage that you couldn't see because you were locked up her baggage it interprets into hurt she is hurt she has been hurt. I'm not saying that you hurt her. I'm saying that she is a woman that has been hurt in her past. So now those hurts are directed to you. She's so used to dealing with a man that does not respect her, a man that has lied to her, a man that has uh, emotionally bankrupt her and now here here you are receiving the backlash you're receiving the backlash of her hurt and her pain her hurt and her pain she tends to wear her hurt and her pain on the outside as well as on the inside. And what she doesn't realize is that her behavior is a result of the pain that she has been through in her past. And that you, my dear brother, stop honking at me. I have to wait for the light to turn green. I know you got a story and you just don't want to wait. Adrena's Haven. My brothers, you are dealing with a hurt woman. She's hurt. She's hurt because of things that she's been through in her past. Men that she's dealt with before. Perhaps the way that she was raised. She received mixed messages from her parents or parents. <laughs> And now you're getting the butt and the backlash of all of her hurt and her pain. 
here's what you need to do. You can do what you want to do, but my suggestion is this. Allow her to heal. Allow her to heal. If you know in your heart of hearts that she is the one for you, and you are looking past and beyond her faults, and you're going to meet her at her point of need, allow her to heal. What does healing for your woman look like? Gently suggest to her that perhaps, my dear, we need to get you some counseling. Counseling with a therapist, a life coach, a preacher, or someone who can help you through what you're going through if you really, really feel that she's your life partner. Okay.